Looking at the bounding box around that area type object in sample giving guide start, you can tell three things instantly by looking at the ports. First, because the import is empty, this is the first object in the thread. The text starts here. Its out port communicates the remaining two facts. This is not only the first, but also the last object in the thread, thus there's no actual threading. But despite that, the final thing we learn is that there's more text than will fit in this one area. We have overset text. If we had just a little text overset, we could try resizing the area or the type itself until it all fit. In this case, though, there's a lot of overset text. There's no way to see how much is overset. There's no story editor like there is in InDesign. But I just happen to know the length of this story, so trust me. To get that overset text showing, we need to create additional text areas and thread them together. Grab the Type tool and click and drag to create another area type object beside the first. If it auto fills with placeholder text, delete the text. We'll need to connect the outport in the first text area with the import in this new text area. That's a little tricky given that as soon as you deselect the new type area, you can no longer see its import or even its path. Here's a little trick that will help. Switch into outline mode. You still can't see the area type object's import, but at least you can see the area type object itself. Switch to the black arrow and click the outport of the first object, which will get your cursor loaded with text. Then click anywhere directly on the path of the second area type object. If you got it right, if you clicked directly on the path, this second area will fill with text continuing the story from the object on the left. You'll also see a line connecting the first's outport to the second's inport. You now have threaded text objects. Note that the second area also shows there's overset text. We'll need to create a third area type object in the thread. You could repeat the process of creating a new text area and then connecting them, but there's a faster way that combines both steps into a single action. With the black arrow, click the out port on this second area type object. Once you have a loaded cursor, move to where the third column of text should go and click and drag to define the text area. When you release the mouse or touchpad button, you'll have your third area type object already filled and threaded. In this way, you could keep quickly adding objects to the text thread until the entire story was paid out. Unthreading can be useful too. First, to simply remove an object from the thread, deleting the object without harming the story text itself, just delete the object. Here, my deleting the middle or second area in the thread just causes Illustrator to connect the first and third. The text flows between them and what text was in the second is now in the third. No text was harmed by the deletion of the area type object. If you want to unthread objects without deleting them, leaving the objects as standalone empty area type objects or type on a path objects, you need to return to the outport of the first in the thread, or at least the last object in the thread you want to remain threaded, the one right before the object you want to unthread, double click its outport. And well, that's it. It's as simple as that. The thread will be broken, but again, all the text will remain unharmed. It will simply overset. One last tip on threading. Many people, myself included, find it very helpful to have those lines connecting the in and out ports. They make it very clear how text flows between objects and in what order. For other people, those lines are superfluous at best and annoying at worst. You can hide them if you'd like. Just go to the View menu and choose Hide Text Threads. Those invisible lines, the thread lines, will disappear. Turn them back on with View Show Text Threads. Why don't you practice by threading the story below that first one in Sample Giving Guide Start, the story that begins with Friend $250. It's overset and requires new area type objects to pay it all out. You can check your results against Sample Giving Guide End.